Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lip swatch video for you and some first impressions on some new-ish MARC products. They came out a few months ago, but I definitely wanted to show you guys what the colors look like and then also give you any of like my first impressions of just wearing them after swatching them. So there's basically two different types. There are the Pout Vinyl Lip Paint. Those ones are like glossy. And then there is the Pout Velvet Lip Paint. So these ones are a little bit more of like that moussey, um, not like a liquid lipstick, but definitely more of like a moussey lipstick. So they each come in four different shades, whether it's the vinyl or the velvet. Keep watching if you want to see what these look like on the lips and stay tuned to hear what my first impressions are because I have some pretty strong impressions on them and I only swatched them today. Spoiler alert. And the fact that I'm not wearing one on my lips right now. Stay tuned. Okay, so those were the swatches of the eight lip paints from MARC. Okay, so to start off, basically the vinyl and the velvet, um, they both come in this like really nice square packaging. I really like the packaging of it. You can see what color it is. I like the like matte cap for the velvets and the glossy cap for the vinyls, which is really nice. They retail for $12 a piece. And then let's see. So the claim of these is more intense than a lipstick, more saturated than a gloss, with vibrant pure pigments, uh, plus a built-in primer guarantees a smooth, even application that keeps color on lockdown. So I'm going to break down the velvets and the vinyls now and kind of give what I thought of each of them because they are definitely very different formulations. Now, I really like MARC products sometimes, like not all of them are horrible. This might be the worst, if not the second worst product that I've tried all year. Yeah. The colors were so good. You can see in the swatches, like most of them applied very well. They're very nicely pigmented. But if we start with the velvet ones first, so those are like the the moussey ones. I really liked the color selection. I actually really liked this orange color. I'm not used to wearing that. Obviously this one, uh, Quiet. Um, it looked like I had concealer on my lips. Spark was really nice. I really like the shade of that. Fantasy did not apply very well. And Fancy was actually my favorite out of the bunch in terms of color. The issue with these ones is the brush is a little bit wiggly, so it can be a little hard to create a precise line. You just have to be slow and steady. The biggest issue I had with these was when I'm swatching them, my lips started to burn. Not a lot, but they definitely started to like kind of tingle. So I'm not really sure what's in this product, but like, I mean, I couldn't deal with it for like the 30 seconds that it was on my lips. Now these ones actually don't smell horrible. They are a little bit of like that chemically sweet scent, but definitely nothing crazy. Of the two, these are definitely my more favorite one, even though I didn't really like them and I did find them a little difficult to apply, except for Fancy. I found this one went on the nicest and as well as Spark. Spark went on really nicely as well, but the other two, not so much. And then getting to the other ones, so these are the vinyl lip paint, so the four shades here. It smelled like laundry detergent or some sort of cleaner. I couldn't stand the smell of these and it was very strong 
to add to that, you know how my lips burned a little bit with the velvet ones? Like, it was so uncomfortable to have these on my lips for the 30 seconds I was swatching them. Like, I was just basically counting down the seconds to try and get it off my lips. I really liked the colors for these ones better, like even so cozy as that light pink. Really nice color, but again, it smelled really bad. It kind of tasted weird, it made my lips tingle. And then this one I found kind of got gloopy. You cannot put a second layer of this over top. Like if you want to even it out, you need to get it even right off the bat. Um, they're not sticky, which is nice. Shocking was quite nice. I found it was like probably the thinnest of the formulas. Cozy was super thick. It was really hard to work with. Glamour was really nice. I really liked this one. Um, but again, the scent and the tingling is just, I can't deal with it. And then the worst one for sure was Covet. It was this dark color. It got so gloopy. It was patchy. It, you could see it didn't stick to like my waterline. So it like made this really weird line it was just it was just not very good okay and that's it I would highly suggest passing on these if you see them in your like Avon brochure and stuff like that I would definitely pass there are much better products out there from Avon and Marc like I just like the regular Avon lipsticks Marc makes some really nice cheek products especially the the magnet one I really like that it's not to say that all of Marc products are horrible it's just I would really pass on these ones because I'm not sensitive to smells or lipsticks usually like I don't usually get that tingling but I got it so bad this time it was just unbearable so unfortunately these are getting a really big thumbs down for me. I was really hopeful because the PR package was so cute, but no, just save your money and find something else from Avon or Mark if you want to buy from there instead. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.